We're back. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to another Spline live stream. I am your host, Georgina Yabois, and today we're going to be talking about the Spline camera and camera orbitals and a few tips and tricks on camera state animations here today at today's live stream. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining. It's so awesome to see you all here today, and happy Friday. We're really looking forward to showing you the demo revolving around the Spline camera and the camera orbit feature. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the demo. Okay, so if you can all see my screen here, we are in um, one of the spline files featuring this lovely, beautiful aesthetic um, orange like bedroom um, that is featuring the new camera orbit feature now. We um, have the camera object listed here, um, showing off all our states. Now before, when you added states to the camera, you weren't able to orbit, pan, zoom, or move at all during play mode when you had states applied to the camera. But now, thanks to um, the camera feature orbit that we released, I think a while, two weeks ago, earlier this month, you can now um, do all those things while having states applied to the camera. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of that. Um, as you can see, we have this uh, the scene here and we have three trigger objects. Now, if I um, click on one of these objects here, we go to the computer. We have our camera state animation and now we can move along in the scene. How great is that? I can also just zoom out as well. Okay. Now before this wasn't possible when you added states to the camera, but now it is possible. I'm going to go um, click on another object and then it focuses on to the bear. And if I click out, it will zoom back in to a base um, position. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can also apply these same camera animations um, in Spline. Okay, so here is another lovely mini room featuring music that I got from the Spline library. And we are going to add some awesome camera animation transitions to this room. And I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly right now. So I am currently using my personal camera. We need to add a camera object in order for this to work. So I'm gonna go press on the plus button here, create new object. Scroll down until I get to the camera object here. All right, so now we have the camera object in the layer hierarchy and we're gonna start applying some states to it. Now, this is um, super easy to implement. You can add as many states as you want, but for this demo, I'm just going to add two just for a demonstration. So I've added two new states, and um, so we have three in total, including the base state, and I can change my state names as well. So I'm gonna just call this cam one and cam, oops, cam two, perfect. Now, the way how you're going to create um, different camera angles is simply just by going to each state and just having a different view of your scene. So I'm going to leave base state as is. We're gonna have this um, wonderful view of the overall room. But for cam one, um, I want to have a camera transition that focuses on a certain object in the room. So I'm gonna pick the computer and I'm just going to zoom in on my um, laptop here. Okay, like that. And I'm just going to leave it there. So now our camera view is set. So we go back to the base state Uh, so here's another tricky thing. Because I am setting these states to the camera, but I'm using my personal camera, I won't be able to see the changes. So if I go to my camera here, now you'll be able to see um, the states. So again, I'm going to try this again. Um, we're at the base state. Go to camera one. Just go zoom into the computer because that's what I want to focus on. All right. And now if I go back to the base state, there is our first view, all right? And then here is our cam one view going to the laptop. 
So again, when you're doing these dates, it's very, very important that you have um, your camera view set here. And to make sure that you don't accidentally change your camera position on a state by accident, um, just while you're working, you can just go back to the personal camera. Now that I have my um, second state um, in place, I'm gonna go to the next camera here and I'm going to want to focus my camera on the guitar object this time. I am now um, positioning my second camera angle to the guitar object here. So now I have all my camera states in place. Base date, cam one, and cam two. And it's really just as simple as just moving your camera um, when you're on a specific state that you wanna focus on. Now we're going to animate this camera. And by doing so, you can do this in a variety of ways with key press, but I want my um, camera states to go to the focus points that I had set up for um, for my camera. So this is the base state. This is just going to be our neutral position, but I want base state to go to say cam one, which will be my camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our computer object and it is going to act as a trigger object for us. So what that means is that I want it to trigger this camera motion. So I'm going to press down on it with a mouse down. All right. And I also want this transition to toggle back and forth as well so I can zoom back to the base state. So I'm gonna have toggle enabled and I'm gonna click on the transition button for actions. So for target, we wanna target the camera cause that's what we want the animation to be applied to. And then we're gonna have it go to cam one. Okay, so let's quickly see how that looks like in play mode. Okay, so we're at the base state. And if I click on the camera, I mean the computer, the laptop, sorry, um, it goes straight to the laptop. So that's basically the nooks and crannies of that. But that transition seemed a bit faster than it. So I'm just gonna go back to the computer object again, go to my mouse down event and slow down that transition, okay? I think I'm gonna give it a duration of three here. All right, and then we're gonna try that again. I'm gonna click on my mouse down event. Beautiful. I should change my state um, to computer view so it's a lot more easier for me to, uh, to keep track of. Yes, whatever um, state namings works for you in terms of um, transitions to do this, it will be super helpful for you. I'm also going to change my guitar, my cam two view to guitar view instead. So it's a lot easier to keep track. Going back to the play mode and I click my laptop to do the transition. Very smooth transition, but I'm not going to know where to click in this room, right? There's no feedback telling me where I can like click. So again, I'm going to go back to the computer object. And I'm going to add another event called mouse hover. Now, before I even apply this event, um, we do want the object to be noticeable to us when we hover over it, right? So I'm going to also apply states to my laptop as well. Just increase the size just a little bit and then go into events and add my mouse hover here. Go into the transition. We're gonna have to go to current, to state. And if we go into play mode, you can see that it is hovering there. And if I don't want um, that type of transition, I can go back into mouse hover. We have it on ease in and out. I could do spring. It will give me a bit of a bounce. And um, the more, the less dampening I add to it, the more bouncier it's gonna be. So I can just go into five here. All right, and then we're gonna have like a bit of a spring like that. And then if I click on it, we'll have our camera transition also applying to our laptop, which is super fun. And again, I can also orbit in the room as well. Super, super easy. So now I'm going to apply everything that I have just shown to the guitar object as well. So it's gonna be our trigger object for the second cam view 
or what we'd like to call now guitar view. So we're going to go to the guitar object, click on events, mouse down event because we want to um, have it triggered the camera transition. So we're going to go to transition. All right. We're going to target the camera because that's the object that we want um, the transition to happen. That's the one that we want to move to. So we're going to go to current to guitar view instead. And then we're going to have a duration of three because we don't want it to move too fast. Okay, let's test that out in the play mode. Very cool. Very nice. And just to add a finished touch of interactivity, because we want to know that we can click on the guitar, right? We're going to add um, a quick um, state event here to increase the scaling of the guitar just ever so slightly and maybe move it up a bit so it's not sinking into our floor. Um, and then add um, our second event, which will be mouse hover at the transition of the guitar going from current to state. Um, and then we're going to test that out in the play mode. Just like that. And because I'm not a huge fan of the ease in and out, I'm going to change my transition from ease in and out to spring and add a dampening of five. Okay. So now it seems like we have all our objects set for this camera um, animation feature to go on. So let's go to the laptop. Okay. And let's toggle out. Super cool. And then now I can hover over the guitar. Okay. And click on the guitar just like that. Don't think I can toggle out because I didn't add a, um, I didn't add the toggle yes to the guitar. So if you want to toggle out of that view again, just toggle it to yes. Go to the guitar. And then if you want to toggle out, just click on it again. Back to our original base state camera view. And that is how you create camera state animations um, with Spline. And again, the state animations don't disable the camera anymore to be restricted to just those states. You can now orbit around freely in your scene. All right, thank you all so much for joining me today on this demo. I'm so happy to be back and to be showing you all of Spline's latest features and neat tips and tricks um, um, in Spline. And I look forward to showing you some more um, in the coming weeks. If you have any topic ideas that you would like us to um, present or see um, for these live streams, feel free to comment um, in the chat or in the Discord server. And again, if you have any more questions um, concerning camera, orbits or featured animations or anything like that, feel free to also ask us in the ongoing chat in our Discord channel. All right. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Happy weekend. Bye. Take care.